Hi folks, in this video, we'll discuss about uh, Azure Continuous Integration and Continuous Deployment, CI and CD. So the scenario is, I've got Azure subscription and I'm going to create uh, you know, Azure sites. Then I'll use my Visual Studio, then create a web application or a website, and I'm go and want to go and deploy it. So there are two scenarios. One, I will use complete VSO, that is Visual Studio Online account, to maintain my source code and to do the build, right? And even the deployment on Azure. And the other one is hybrid scenario where I will use on-premise build the you know the compilation the build will happen in my on-premise tfs server or, or on-premise tfs build my source code everything is maintained in my on-premises but only the deployment will happen on azure so we'll discuss both the scenarios so for on-premise what i'm going to do is creating a build definition then use the azure deployment settings publish settings file for the vso i'm going to create a azure site then from there itself, I'm going to link to my Visual Studio Online account. Then a build definition will be created automatically for continuous deployment. I'm just going to modify it. Then we'll just uh, modify the code and check in and we'll see the changes. First, let me go to Azure site. So this is my Azure site and I've created you know, some websites and virtual machines and so many things are available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two websites now. So let me go and create a new. I'll use a quick create option and create one Azure website. Okay, so VSO demo video site. So this is going to use VSO online account, this site. Okay, let me click on create. So I'm creating this. And even I'll go and create one more website. That will be... Okay, so this is for my on-premise TFS server where my code is watched and controlled in my TFS. Even the build will happen in my on-premise TFS. Only the deployment happens on Azure for this site. So let it create. In the meantime, let's go and see my two team projects. So this is my VSO team project. You can see my Visual Studio Online account. And in that, I have demo TP. So you can see nagraj.visualstudio.com. That is my Visual Studio Online account. And in that, I have a demo team project. And even I have a application called a sample site. So I've just opened that application. And this is my default page. So maybe I'll just uh, say Azure video testing. Okay. So for this application, I want to have a build definition created from VSO. I mean from Azure. So this is one. And for the on-premise thing, I have another team project. So I'm connected to my local team project. You can see with the IP address. Then I have a sample application also. And there's a default.tspx page for that. And for this, I want to create a build definition, then download the Azure publishing publish settings file. Then we'll see how to build locally and deploy it. Now let's start with my on-premise thing. So I'm going to use this hybrid on-premise site, right? So let me go and create a new build definition for this particular application. So I'll go to builds, then say new build definition.
let it be maybe continuous integration I'm going to quit all these things let me select the application here sample app let me select the build controller say copy to the server so here I'm going to use a different template called as TFVC continuous deployment template so this will have settings for my Azure so the rest of the things remain same if I go to the last section deployment here I have to give Windows Azure deployment provider so for that let me go and click on this button then based on my subscription I can download the subscription file so let me click on this subscription so I can download this so let me save it now let me go and say import I will select the downloaded file click on open you can see it is downloaded so now let me give the website name so what it should be in the website what I've created so let me click on this copy the same same website name and uh, the web space the so web space should be so I go to the dashboard it should be this Southeast Asia Southeast Asia web space so that's it done so now when I click on OK so it would have created a settings for my deployment so let me click on save my build definition is ready now so now let me show you the site before I deploy it so let me click on the site here so this will be just a, you know, a dummy site created by Azure right so now when I deploy it so we'll refresh and see the application so let me now start the deployment so the new build definition that is demo hybrid so before that maybe I want to just change the title here site for Azure demo site for Azure video I mean demo video the same should be deployed in Azure now right so let's go ahead check in this so the chicken is done now build should be deployed So you can see build also is triggered. Now you can see it has uh, you know, uh, started. The build has started, and uh, it has already downloaded the latest code from version control. Then even it is checking for the Azure settings, and the build is happening now. Okay, now you can see it is uh, you know, running the continuous deployment section. So it is now deploying to Azure site. So it's now copying the binaries. Okay, so it is done now. So the build is successful. So you can see it has run on the local build agent, right? Compile the application then deployed on the Azure server so let me click on that site yes perfect so it is deployed or uh, if I just refresh this also it's fine so what I showed was maintaining the source code build everything in on-premise server but the deployment should happen on Azure so what we did so once we set up everything I created a build definition then 
use this TFVC continuous deployment template then went to the last section that is a deployment section then at the Windows Azure deployment environment setting clicked on this ellipse button then configured the details like I imported the Windows subscription Azure subscription file then enter the website details the website name and the web space that's it when I do the build it happens the look it does a local compilation I mean that is TFS on-premise compilation but deployment will happen on Azure this was the first scenario we'll see the second scenario where my source code build everything happens on Azure that is VSO online account then the deployment also happens on Azure so we'll see that for that let me go to the second site what we created that is uh, VSO demo video site right so let me click on this then I will say set up a deployment from source control let me click on this link then select Visual Studio online click on next so here I'll provide my Visual Studio online account details so let me go to my team project and this is my Visual Studio online account so let me click on web portal so that I can get the details so let me and say authorize click on accept then it will connect to my online team project and I will choose the team project what I am using now so that's it so it will link now the Visual Studio online project to the Azure web app now if I go to my team project go to builds I would have one build definition created you can see that VSO demo video site underscore CD with the same name as a web app VSO demo video site VSO demo video site build definition is created let me go to that build definition click on edit by default it will be disabled let me go and enable it then it is continuous integration let me go to source settings I don't want all these things let me choose the project what I want to build it's a sample site so let me click on the solution to build so rest of the things the build definition has all the information like you can see VSO demo video site it has already got the information let me click on save now now if I see the site right if I see the demo video site so it is just a dummy site now created now let me go and check in the file and trigger a build so I'll say I'll come to Azure video site and just add this video site testing then go and check in so my build should be triggered so before that let me go and disable all the other build definitions okay so now when I check in uh, the code the build will trigger and it will go and deploy on my Azure site so let me go to pending changes and check in the code what I have done so change set 78 successfully checked in if I go to the build build should be triggered now yes so it is triggered and this will use the hosted build service so my source control is in VSO my one build will happen on VSO and the deployment also will happen on Azure now you can see the build is started and you can see it is running on the hosted build agent okay so it is started now and compiled and you can see that it is saying looking for deployment environment VSO demo video site so it's going to deploy on this Azure site so now it is building the solution
now it is running the deployment okay it's done now let me go to the site click on this and we know it is deployed right or uh, let me refresh here also and see it is deployed so i've got both the sites deployed one hybrid that is from on premise and the deployment will happen on azure side the next was vso demo video site so both are deployed so what we saw basically is azure continuous integration and continuous deployment and two scenarios one with on premise tfs build but deployment on azure then another complete vso online that is visual studio online where your source code is maintained online your build will happen on uh, hosted build agent and even deployment on azure so thanks folks for watching this video